Hello and welcome to this quick course tour for English 101. I'm going to give you a brief overview of how the course is organized and then point you in the right direction for how to get started your first week. Whenever you log into the course, the first thing you'll see is the announcements page. And while most announcements will be emailed to you, it's still a very good idea to check here just to make sure you are up to date on all of the important information for the course. Going in order on the sidebar here, the next item is faculty information. So check there if you need to get an email address or just to find out a little bit more about who is teaching this course. Next is course information. And this part of the course has some key documents explaining the way the course works as a whole. First up being the syllabus, and next being a collection of rubrics that explain how several assignments and activities, such as your papers and your participation in the discussion board, will all be graded. Make sure you pay particular attention to those documents, and you may actually want to download them and keep them on your computer for your own reference. The other two items here are some information on how to summarize, which you'll be doing quite a bit of in this course this semester, followed by a link to the Purdue OWL's APA formatting style guide. All of your papers this course will be written using APA formatting style, so you want to make sure that you've got a handle on that and the Purdue OWL has some great resources to help you do so. Next is the weekly units part of the course, and this is actually where you'll be spending most of your time for this course this semester. The course is organized into weekly topics, and each topic is formatted the same way. So if we look at the first one, as you can see here at the top, you have a section letting you know the main topics for the week. And after that, you have a to-do list that lets you know everything you need to do for this week and this part of the course. Beneath that, you have resources and links to activities that you need to complete. So as you can see here, First up is a link to the discussion board where you will be introducing yourself this first week. And then you have a mini lecture, links to the reading, as well as a file of another reading, a link to a journal assignment, and as a side note, for the journal assignments, you will always be able to access the journal through the topics page. So clicking this will take you straight to the part of the course where you are writing in your journal. And at the very bottom, if there is something for you to turn in as a file, you will have a link to the submission box. You can also access the submission boxes for major assignments through the assignments part of the course. And make sure you read this here at the top about assignments in this course carefully. This gives you some basic information, but also a specific note about safe assignments and how those work in the course. Information about each essay, of which there are four, is formatted the same way. You'll be writing multiple drafts of your papers in this course. And the first thing you'll see is a link to the assignment handout, followed by the place where you'll be submitting your first draft, and also the place where you'll be submitting the final draft of this essay. This is what the course links in each topic will lead you to. So again, you can access this page either through assignments or through the proper topic in weekly units. Finally, there is the discussions page, and this just takes you to an overview of the forums on the discussion board, whereas the links in weekly units will take you to the specific forum that you need to write in for that week's assignment. So to get started, 
go straight to weekly units, topic one, and follow the tasks list here, going through the discussion board, reading the materials, writing in your journal, and finally, submitting your annotation assignment, information about which can be located under assignments through this item here. I hope that's helpful, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Information can be found on the course Faculty Information tab.